Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to be able to share with you again. Um, I greet you on quite a quite a beautiful morning as the sun is coming through the windows. And uh, and what a better time to reflect on the psalm that we may read in our churches on Sunday, Psalm one hundred and eleven. Now, before I do so, let me let me tell you a story. As as legend goes, um, Sir Christopher Wren, who was the architect of I believe St Paul's Cathedral. Uh, as he was showing the monarch of the time, that cathedral after its completion, the, the, the British monarch reflected upon this great, uh, this, this, this great building, uh, this great feat of architecture, and, and described it in three words. They said, it is amusing, it is awful, and it is artificial. And any architect in today's world would probably be, be crushed by such a description of their hard work of something as beautiful as St. Paul's Cathedral. It is amusing, awful, and artificial. And yet the story helps us to remember how language changes over time because uh, amusing meant amazing. And awful meant awesome. And artificial simply meant it had been such a feat had been created by by hands was incredible to believe. And so I, I, I reflect on this story because in Psalm 111 we read the verse, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And we struggle with that word sometimes. We struggle with the word fear because that word in our connotations is quite a negative word. To be fearful of something, uh, to be afraid of something, means that we grow anxious, that we have anxieties, that we um, are not calm in the presence of fear. And yet the author did not intend it so. In fact, fear could rather be understood as awe. Uh, being in awe of God, revering reverence of God is the beginning of wisdom. And so I note the sun shining through the windows this morning. I note the beautiful day because to the psalmist, the psalmist believes that understanding that God's hand is in everything and everything amazing and everything all some, not all full, in everything awesome, we see God's hand at work. In fact, Eugene Peterson uh, in the message writes it beautifully. He says, God's works are so great, worth a lifetime of study, endless enjoyment. That is the beginning of wisdom, understanding that God's hand is in everything. God's works are so great. When we stand outside and we look at the trees, when we feel the breeze on our faces, when we are considering the vastness of the oceans or the night sky above us, when we are enjoying the sunlight on our skin, it is God's handiwork. And how amazing is that God? And when we stand in awe, we our beginning, we're at the starting point of wisdom. We're at the starting point of understanding that God is present in everything and that God is constantly with us. Again, as, as Eugene Peterson says, that the good life, the good life begins in the fear of the Lord. And that simply means that we can live our lives knowing that God is always with us. So wherever you are today, uh, if you're at work, if you're at home, if you're enjoying yourself in this beautiful day, be present of the God who made it all. Be present of the God who gave you the blessings that you receive each day, the ones that you realize and the ones that you don't. And be present with that God in the awe and the majesty of that God that gifted it to you and as you are present, as you acknowledge God's handiwork, as you see God's deeds at life in you and in your neighbor, remember that that awe, that amazement, that wonder, that reverence is the place where we start living the good life with God 
for we recognize that God is truly with us. Let us pray. And so, Holy Lord, we thank you that we do indeed not have to be fearful of you, but rather that you inspire awe within us. That when we consider the works of your hands, when we consider the world, the created world around us, and when we consider your imminence within us and within our hearts as your spirit guides us, Lord God, we are not fearful of you, but we are in awe. You take our breath away and yet you give it to us in the very next instant, for you are the very air that we breathe, and we give you thanks this morning. And so be with us every step of this day, Lord, and reveal yourself to us in all of your handiwork, in all of your deeds, so that we may live this good life with you. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, friends. Go in wisdom today as you see God in every place and in all things. Amen.